everyone, my name is Kisco and I am a physics teacher. In this video, I am going to show you free fall acceleration that we studied using the photo gate. So, if you take a closer look at your characters, you'll see that this is actually a length of rod with length graduations. This enables us to easily measure the length between the photo gate for us to be able to take the measurements and calculate the motion accordingly. This blue part contains an electromagnet and it's going to hold the object, which in this case is the steel ball, before it is released for the free fall. It's only when we switch on the timer will the electromagnet release the ball. These two are the photo gate. So as the ball falls in front of the sensor, it will tell the timer to start and stop. And of course, this is the pouch that will catch the metal ball as it falls. All of these are adjustable along the rod. And of course, the experiment wouldn't be possible if you didn't have a digital timer. The digital timer is connected to the photo gate. So as the ball passes in front of the sensors, the photo gates will inform the timer when to start and when to stop. And that's what the timer is for. So this is a closer look at the timer. And this is the back of the digital timer. So you can see that in this case, because this apparatus is used to study free fall, we have the wires connected to the free fall interface. So for the object in this experiment, we're going to use a steel ball which can be held by the electromagnet in this blue part of the apparatus. Now it's not sticking yet because we haven't switched on the timer which has electromagnet. So in order to make sure that we are using the timer to measure free fall, we have to change the function until we get free fall. And you can see how the electromagnet light is on. So when we're ready to start the experiment, we are going to press the electromagnet button. So now that the timer is on, if we take the steel ball and we place it at the blue part, you'll find that it is now stuck to the electromagnet. Okay, and we're now ready to begin the experiment. So I'm going to press the electromagnet button and the ball will be released. So you can see that the timer is giving us a bunch of different values which we can record as part of experiment in order to study the motion. So I hope you have found this video educational and helpful in observing how an experiment can be conducted in a school lab using the photo game and digital timer. Don't forget to click like and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Physics Rocks. Thank you for watching and happy studying.